Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Regroup Show. I am your host, LJ Walker, a real estate investor helping you realize your dreams of owning a home or investing in one. So this week was the passing of Tina Turner. I consider her, and many do, the queen of rock and roll. When I first heard the news, I'm telling you, I was very emotional and I didn't really understand it because even though I was a fan I didn't think I was a fan like that you know sometimes you don't know how much you adore or admire your person I guess until they pass away and I think that this is what it is with Tina Tina was somebody that whenever my family whenever we got together or friends we had parties we would do a little karaoke I was always Tina Turner I was always asked to be Tina Turner for that particular, you know, point in time, that moment. So I don't know, I guess maybe because I embodied her when I tried to imitate or emulate her, um, maybe that's the the case. I'm not sure, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't function as well as I uh, normally do. I actually shed tears more than once on more than one occasion. Um, so it really did grip me. What I wanted to do is not just um, share with you, you know, I can't go into music too much because first of all, this is not a music channel, it's real estate. And I'm not a musician, <laughs> okay? So, but I do want to... Uh, just give her her flowers, if you will, um, and just share a little bit. I think we can learn something about her life. Yes, in the real estate realm, because why? Uh, one of the things is she was an expat. And I think what she went through or just going over certain things, first of all, proves my point on some of the previous expat videos that I did. Um, and I think that those of you who want to be or are, are already may be able to learn something. All right. So here goes. Let's just start from the beginning. Um, first of all, Tina Turner, she broke many barriers for black people, for women. And also when it came to ageism, you see back in her day, and even in my day, the earlier parts, um, we were prohibited from doing a whole lot of things, right? And a lot of things that we that I see that the younger people may take for granted that you probably think, oh, well, that's always been the case. No, it has not always been the case. And Tina Turner is one of the reasons why it's no longer the case anymore, okay? I feel... I don't just feel, I know that if it wasn't for her being the trailblazer that she is, we wouldn't be as comfortable as we are right now. All right. So listen, she, uh, as we know, as some of you may know, she was born in Nutbush, Tennessee, which I believe now is called Brownsville. She started singing, uh, but she didn't really get her, uh, her notice, her, uh, her, uh, fame, if you will, until she met Ike Turner and they were in St. Louis, Missouri, right? Ike Turner actually, um, let's give him credit where credit is due. One of the reasons why Tina is the queen of rock and roll is because Ike Turner actually put out the first rock and roll record. Now, Tina was not on that particular record, but I'm just uh, putting that out there so that you guys can see what the parallel is. Now, as many of you know, Ike and Tina had a relationship, um, not just on the stage, but off the stage. 
they broke up. However, when Tina wanted to be a solo artist, it wasn't that many, believe it or not, there wasn't that many people in the music industry in America that was embracing her. I have some friends who are musicians who are familiar with their story, not what you see on TV as far as the movie is concerned or even what you read in a book. All right. And if you look at Ike and Tina, you will see that they were really mainly on the small labels. They really weren't on the big labels. Anyway, as their fame grew and their fans grew and what have you, uh, Ike had a particular personality and Tina also had a particular personality that some in the music industry wasn't did not gravitate to here in the United States of America. Not just their personality though, also, yes, their race played an issue and with Tina, her being a female, also was an issue as well. So that is one of the reasons why she had to go somewhere else in order to be the singer that she wanted to be, okay? Um, when she did Private Dancer, she was in her 40s. When she was with Ike, she was in her 20s. The first time she actually tried to do anything in music on her own was in her 30s, but she wasn't successful. She didn't get that success until she left the United States in her 40s um, and recorded Private Dancer, the album, in England, okay, that's where she found the money. Why? I'll, I'll tell you, I've seen for, with my own eyes, because I have actually been to Europe, European fans financially support their stars. So financially support not just their stars, anybody who they like. In the United States, particularly back then because she came out again in the 80s and the 90s there were people that was uh, selling tapes illegally on the streets of New York and probably on the streets of other states as well uh, sometimes they would even go into the beauty parlors and say do you want to buy this and it was at a much cheaper price than what was being sold in the record stores Okay, so this was like that turning point. And that's when a lot of American stars started losing money. Then the Internet came out publicly in the 90s. Then you had websites where what you can download music for free. So many musical artists, again, started to lose money. Right. Because Americans were like, well, we can download the music on the Internet. We can buy uh, tapes, CDs, whatever. We can buy that on the street. We don't need to spend all this money in a store to buy this particular album. Things were done differently. So that's why many will go overseas now and we've lost a lot of our very most entertaining people because there's not that much money you can make here in America now the whole industry has changed and now you know you got to pay for certain downloads or whatever but there was a time when you could download for free okay so in order for Tina to survive that was one of the reasons why she had to move one of the places that she moved to the first place that I know on record where she bought her home was in France, the French River, Riviera, overlooking the Mediterranean Sea, right? And then later on, she met this German guy who she eventually married. I think his name is Bach. Um, uh, they moved to Switzerland. I'm not sure 
She didn't give up her home in, in on the French Riviera, though. She still kept that from my knowledge. But they rented first uh, a place in Switzerland. And here's what I found out. In Switzerland, you are not allowed to buy property if you are not a citizen of their country. And uh, now, if you are not a citizen of their country, let me rephrase that. If you're not a citizen of their, of their country, there are certain resort areas where they will let you buy. But outside of the resort areas, you have to be a citizen. And at that time, Tina was still an American citizen. She didn't give up her citizenship right away. Okay. Because she and this guy, they dated for a long time. I think it was, what, 20 years or so before they actually decided to get married. Once they got married, that's when she gave up her citizenship. And that's when, afterwards, that's when they bought the property in Switzerland. Because at that time, they could buy whatever it is that they wanted to, right? Switzerland... The only thing that I, Switzerland, the, the reason why it's still controversial to me and nobody really, you know, talked to me about, you know, why, why did, why did she not stay in France? Why didn't they just buy another property there as opposed to Switzerland? Yes, it's a beautiful country. Um, it's gorgeous. It's panoramic and everything else like that. The interest rates are low. Life expectancy is high, um, but it is uh, high, you know, when it comes to safety and what have you. However, prices of, you know, most things are kind of high. Yeah, she has a lot of money, but you normally, no matter how much money you have, you still want your money to go as far as possible. So that's why it's, you know, to me, question mark. Okay, uh, the interest rates also, uh, you know, are are fairly low. They're definitely lower than what we have here in the United States. Uh, but I still, I don't know, I, I, I still sort of question it. But when I listened to Tina, I was looking at some old interviews and everything, and she chose happiness over everything else. Uh, so I said, okay. Well, maybe that's why she chose Switzerland. Maybe because he wanted to live in Switzerland, her new husband. Then that's probably why she chose to stay there as opposed to trying to convince him to move to France where she already had her property, right? Um, and it, it seems as though that was what she every single thing that she did because her some of her business moves to be honest with you like selling off her images and her um and her music and everything to this ger german company uh, again question it's very questionable to me um and she says well you know i did it to be happy like i said i'm not too sure regarding that because you know she does have four kids well two are alive now um and i was always thinking to, and she also has two grandchildren so i was thinking why not pass it over to them as opposed to uh passing it over to this company and one of the kids is a musician himself that one of the ones that is still alive so that that was something uh that was something that i did think was you know peculiar but you know again uh i can't touch the music too much because that is not my realm uh my only thing was the real estate and I wanted you guys, particularly those of you who are thinking about leaving the country the same way she did, uh, just know 
these are some of the things that she ran into as an expat and you may run into the same issues as well so before you choose a, com a country to move to find out do they let americans buy anything and if the answer is no if you were to give up your american passport and your american citizenship you still need to ask, would they allow you to do it? Because there are some countries that even if you gave up your American citizenship, they still won't let you buy property. Switzerland, fortunately for her and others, is. And I want to say one other thing as well, because I think, I know I listened to, like I said, some of the interviews, they may be a little misleading, Uh because, yes, America is racist, uh, and she did, unfortunately, bump her head a number of times on with dealing with racial issues. Yes, where she is, she has less racial issues that she dealt with, but don't get it twisted and think that if you go to those places that you won't face any racism at all. The reason why I say this is because they may not have as much racism as we do, but trust and believe they have some racism. And the other thing you gotta uh, also put this in your head is that she was Tina Turner. She was famous. She was a celebrity. You go over there, even though you might have a lot of money, even though you may make a lot of money, you might not get that same treatment because you're not a celebrity and you're not famous. No tea, no shade, but I have to tell you the truth. These are the things that you got to consider, that you got to think about. Don't don't listen to some of these celebrities or any other person and think, oh, well, they're not having a hard time. Oh, they're not facing any problems. So when I go over there, I'm not going to face any problems. No, that's, that's not necessarily the case. I definitely believe you should visit, experience it for yourself. But even if you visit it for a week or two weeks and you don't run in, run into anything that still doesn't mean that later on down the line that you might not run into something you understand me so take what you hear uh from her and and i'm not trying to put her down or anything like that but take what you hear with a grain of salt move cautiously move according to what your spirit tells you to do and what your, how your spirit feels once you get to that country. And know that, yes, if you decide that you're going to move to Switzerland, you're going to have to give up that passport if you, depend, if you decide that you want to own something. Otherwise, you're going to be renting for the rest of your life. All right, guys. So hopefully the information that I've shared with you will help you make smart real estate moves feel free to pass this amongst your friends remember each one teach one reach one bye for now until next time have a good night